Welcome along to TUI Transfer Talk, backed by Vanarama, who are driving fan TV across the summer and to the World Cup. Head over to their channels to find out more. A lot to get through in today's episode, feeling like what is now daily updates uh, for Saints. But as you can see from the title, a lot to get through. Saints have been busy today. A bit like the weather in the UK, Saints transfer activity is starting to heat up. Now, first of all, Let's start then. What's happening in-house? And it's been announced today that uh, Alex McCarthy has signed a four-year extension to his current deal. Now, this is no less than what he's deserved uh, with his heroics at the end of last season, really keeping us in the game. The difference between three points, no points, or even a point making some fantastic saves, commanding his box, and of course, you know, picking up unanimous Player of the Season awards from the local press, from our videos, from our votes. And, you know, all across the fan base on social media. And for me, this is a real statement of intent by Mark Hughes and by the club moving forward into the new season. Now, this, without a doubt, cements Alex McCarthy's number one status for the football club for the new season and probably trebling his wage in the process. But what does that mean for Fraser Forster? Is he willing to sit on the bench? Is he willing to sit there and watch some more Stuart Taylor DVDs? What's next for Fraser Forster? Let us know in the comments. And of course, let us know reaction to Alex McCarthy's extension. And more official news coming out of the club today, a story we touched upon earlier last week, but today it is official. And Dusan Tadic will be leaving Southampton for Ajax. The club confirmed in their statement that the deal will go through on July the 1st and he will return to the Netherlands. You know, feeling a bit sad to see him go, to be honest. Um, of course, he's been massively hugely frustrating and you know hugely inconsistent over the last few years but he's provided us with a lot of goals and been a key player to some of our success over the last few years he made 162 appearances with 23 goals over the four years and you know was a key player at the end of last term uh, eventually finishing as joint top scorer with seven goals but the deal is a tidy little profit for saints so he will be turning 30 later this year we got him for 10.9 million and selling him on uh, by the report suggested, best part of 18 million. That's not bad bit of business for Saints. Of course, let us know how you feel about Dusan Tadic's departure in the comments. But as one door closes for one person, another door opens for another. And what Nick always likes to say, it's not about what's just happened, it's what we do next. And what Saints will be doing next is reinvesting that money immediately into a replacement. And the replacement coming in the form of Norwegian international attacking midfielder Mohamed Elianusi of the Swiss side FC Basel. Now the fee for Elianusi has been reported in the region of 16 million. Uh, is set to become the most expensive Norwegian transfer in history. Now, some of the leading Norwegian stories report this earlier today and even as early as yesterday that his agent is already in England ready to thrash out a deal, ready for it to go through within 24 hours. Now, to help some of you out that are unaware of another obscure Saints signing, uh, last season, Elianusi netted 11 goals and 15 assists for Basel as they finished second in the Swiss League. He also appeared in the Champions League, running the show at the Etihad Stadium against Man City, providing a goal and an assist. Now, judging by the reports and the highlights, he seems like a nifty, tricky little winger, uh, slaloming between players and, and loving to take a defender on, uh, but slotting it off, and most importantly, with a finish. Perhaps somewhere we have been lacking with attack and intent over the last couple of years. So reasons to be positive again for Saints. Making some moves in the transfer market with immediate replacements seemingly lined up. Now, all we potentially need now to make a good window is a central defender. Now, you have to say over the past few years, Saints have been massively, hugely criticised, bemoaned about not having those immediate replacements for our influential players. But it does seem like Mark Hughes is ready to dispose, eager to dispose of that reputation. So there we have it then, a lot to discuss in today's episode. Let me know in the comments how you feel about the arrival of Elia Nusi, the departure of Dusan Tadic and the extension of Alex McCarthy. Maybe we might see a daily update tomorrow as we might see Elia Nusi fast-tracked to Saints.